this is Kathy. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, we will be doing a flip through of some sorts and I guess a quick first impressions on this high passion. So this is actually a journal slash notebook that I was eyeing um, since last year. I never had the chance to be part of their media list. So I decided um, what any content creator would do. I bought my own copy. <laughs> so anyway, if you are as curious as I am to see what's inside, um, please go ahead and stay tuned. Okay, so we are back again. My name is Caddy. On this channel, we do a lot of unboxing, first impressions, quick reviews. We also talk about journaling, diamond painting, how to be a better content creator. And soon enough, we will be talking about low buy year and ways to save money. Yes, because that's going to be a new passion of mine. And as I mentioned before, what I discuss on my channel are things that are of interest to me. So going back to the high passion, I've actually forgotten what this is and what it looks like because it took so long to get shipped to me but you know no hate it was christmas season when i ordered this so it's very um understandable that it took some time so this is how it came um it is wrapped in sustainable paper um paper wrapper i guess brown paper wrapper and i say it's sustainable because you know it can be reused it didn't use plastic, so that's going to be a plus sign for them. And I think they use a little bit of like scotch tape, brown tape, um, but it's definitely not washi tape, which is okay. <gasps> oh, so I ordered the salmon pink. Now I remember. So this is a one line journal, as you can see there, one line journal. If I remember correctly, this is going to be good enough for the next five years. And it's one line for every day of the year for five days. So I'm hoping I remember correctly. Okay, so they have a welcome note. Is it a welcome note? Oh yes, they do. So it's kind of um kind of a reminder, a guide as to what you will be doing. And it says here, one line, three hundred and sixty five days, five years, my five years in one liner so the author is of course to you and it's going to be for me it's 2022 to 2027 okay i actually have something similar to this and i think it's something about like happiness book happiness something i wasn't able to maintain it but hopefully this one i would be able to since it has bigger spaces okay so that's important to me because i have a big penmanship i'm not one of those dainty you know writers i have big penmanship i need space so this is going to be january 1 2022 january 1 2023 january 1 2024 january 1 2025 this is going to be 2026 tamaba 2022 3 4 5 6 yes so it's 2022 to january 2026 okay there you go and it's kind of just oh no this is like the yearly goal my bad this is the one that's for january february and then you have a choice here as to say to the world like okay january 2022 january 1 was like monday a tuesday and i guess you just have to circle it out so Basically, this is what it looks like all over. Nothing fancy, nothing schmancy. There's no additional like journal prompts or designs. It's a very clear cut through and very basic. Um, I think like the most highlight of this is that there. Um, there's like a grid line. There's a grid line. There's a yearly highlight. And then like important dates. So like if I had this last year, the yearly highlight for me this year would be that I got married. I know, right? And then for 2020, it would have been I had a new baby. So, you know, something huge. And then it says here, important dates for January, February, every single month. Okay. So, kind of like anniversaries, um, birthdays. 
It says here passwords. I would not recommend <laughs> putting it there. Cause imagine if you lose this and somebody gets it, that would be a total nightmare. So yeah, this one would be a pass for me. Like, why would you even put that here? Like, really, seriously. Hi, passion. What's what's wrong with you? <laughs> and then you have the notes here. So if you want to draw something, put stuff, you can do so in that little space. And that's about it. I think the best part of the one-line journal would be like it's hard bound. It's in pink. Um, and hopefully I'll get to fully use it. But I know that I have something similar to this. I'll look for it. Just give me a moment. And I couldn't find it. So anyway, I'll Google it and then I'll try to insert a photo. I'm sure you guys will know what I'm talking about if you've been into journaling for a long time. Um, so that was my super quick flip through. And first impressions of the one-line journal. Do I think that this was worth the money I spent? I think this is like a thousand. I got it on sale or something. Um, I will know if I end up using it. For the next five years then yes it will be worth it and if not then it will not be worth it <laughs> so there so for those who are curious this is just what it looks like on the inside and it just gets repeated from january 1 until december 31 and it's going to be for the next five years of your life i hope you guys enjoyed that video and um i'll see you in the next one by the way don't forget to subscribe like comment and share any small interaction is a big deal for small YouTubers like myself. Thank you and I'll see you again. Bye!